Hello, my name is Garrett Barmore, curator of the W.M. Keck Earth Science and Mineral Engineering Museum. And today we're at the Mackey Mansion in Virginia City. And I am joined by two special guests, Michael Mackey, who's the great, great grandson of John Mackey, and Gregory Crouch, who is the author of the new John Mackey biography, The Bonanza King. So, shall we head inside? Onward. Very good. We are now on the second floor balcony of the Mackey Mansion. Who was John Mackey and why was he important to Virginia City? Well, uh, John Mackey is the seminal figure in the history of the Comstock Lode. He walked onto the Lode as a destitute miner without a nickel to his name a few weeks after the Lode was discovered in the summer of 1859. And over the course of the next 15 years, he worked his way up from nothing until he was owner of the greatest precious mineral strike in American history, the Big Bonanza. Made him and his partners among the richest men in the world. And we're here today with Michael Mackey, his great, great grandson. Uh, Why did John Mackey come to Virginia City? Well, that's a no-brainer. This is where the, all the uh, gold discoveries were being made. And he had spent eight years prospecting in California and around Downeyville and really did very poorly. And so he was part of the first rush that came over the Sierras uh, to try and, and make his fortune here. John Mackey was referred to as the Bonanza King. Uh, and many people remember John Mackey as kind of the eminent miner of Virginia City. How did he earn that reputation? Well, he became known as the Bonanza King because he was the guy that struck the big Bonanza and that made him the Bonanza King. Um, and that was the kind of culmination of one of the great corporate struggles in 19th century America, which was the struggle to control the Comstock load. And Mackey and his associates were one of the three main groups vying to gain control of the load in its heydays in the 1870s. The irony is that Mackey was very, very humble, came from humble origins and never forgot his humble origins. And uh, I think he never really appreciated the label of Bonanza King, um, but he certainly wielded the power uh, over these mines that, that earned him that title. Yeah, he hated the nickname. He always said it made nothing to me but a millionaire with a swelled head. Uh, and there were plenty of millionaires with swelled heads up and down this street. There sure were. Uh, there sure were. A legacy of the Mackey family's support of the community here in Virginia City in northern Nevada is the Mackey School of Earth Science and Engineering, which the Keck Museum is part of at the University of Nevada, Reno. In 1908, the Mackey School was built uh, from contributions by John Mackey's son, Clarence Mackey, and his wife, Mary Louise Mackey. If you would like to visit the Mackey Mansion, you can find more information at their website, MackeyMansionMuseum.com. Let's go uh, take a look at the Golden Curry Mill site. 